This video will provide important information to tenants, landlords, managers, and building owners about the new HUD guidelines and the new EPA governmental requirements for multifamily radon testing. These new rules apply to properties that will have HUD governmental loans, refinancing, sale for building purchases, and or renovations that utilize these types of loans. Radon is a leading cause of cancer among non-smokers in the United States and can be easily mitigated and removed as long as it has been identified. EPA recommends testing of all homes and buildings for radon gas. If the building has five or more units, it is considered a multifamily building. There are many radon testers, however, there are not many multifamily radon testers. Most states require separate additional licensure or certification for radon multifamily testing. Check your state for radon professionals that are certified to perform radon multifamily testing. This video will show you what to expect when you have your building tested for multifamily radon testing. First, you will need to contact your multifamily radon professional. In the Cleveland and Ohio area, you may consider contacting Marco Volk. You should contact your radon professional one to two weeks in advance. This gives the radon professional some time to order fresh radon tests. Your radon professional may want to meet and look at your building at that time, the radon professional will provide you some simple instructions and may also provide you some occupant notification signs. These notification signs will let the occupants know about radon testing before it's being performed. During the scheduled radon testing, the radon professional will post signs, instructions, and some rules indicating, but not limited to, keeping all windows and doors closed during radon testing period. Normal entry is permitted. In Ohio and many other states, all units or all rooms must be tested on the first basement or lowest level of the building. Then every floor must have a minimum of 10% of its units tested. Finally, the radon professional is required to add 10% duplicate tests, 10% blank tests, and 3% spike tests. Let's say you have a 13-story building with 11 units per floor and 10 rooms on the first floor. You will need 10 tests on the first floor, 26 tests on the upper floors, 5 duplicate tests, 5 blank tests, and 3 spikes. This example of this building would require 48 radon tests. The fee for this type of quantity of testing can range from $1,500 to $3,000 depending on your radon consultant's travel time, expenses, and etc. Smaller units will be less of a fee and larger units will be more of a fee. Your radon professional will spend roughly four to eight hours preparing the radon tests, signs, duplicates, spikes, and other paperwork. The radon professional will then go to the multifamily building and begin placing the radon tests. A building manager should accompany the radon professional. Placing 48 canisters can take six to eight hours. It is advised to have one extra backup unit per floor in case the occupant forgets, locks their door, or they may not be home. If the radon professional has to come back, you can guarantee additional trip charges. Two to three days later, the radon professional will return to the building and retrieve the radon tests. This process is much quicker and may take three to five hours, assuming that we are picking up 48 tests. These 48 tests are then sent to a state certified laboratory overnight. The radon professional has 14 days to generate the full report. One copy of the report is sent to the client, one copy of the report is sent to the state, and one copy of the report is filed at the radon professional's office. If you would like to read all the above in more detail, please visit our website at www.houseinvestigations.com. A link has been provided below. If you would like to watch additional radon videos, please visit our YouTube channel, Cleveland Marco, and there is also a link below. If you'd like more detail, please watch other videos on radon. You can also email Marco at clevelandmold at aol.com or call his cell number. 
Below we have provided several other links to several other videos that you can watch and learn. Please rank and subscribe.